Hello, I'm Griffin Hammond, and you're watching Indie Mogul, the channel for low-budget filmmakers. Did you know that every time someone clicks the red subscribe button, it fills us with the energy we need to keep bringing you tips and tricks to improve your films? Indie Mogul is nothing without your support. So this month is Subscriberthon. We're celebrating you, our awesome community of viewers. Today, Russell is meeting up with a group of fans who are new to filmmaking, and we're gonna help coach them through the process. If you know any filmmakers who could use some inspiration, make sure that they subscribe to Indie Mogul. And at the end of today's show, we'll be opening up our phone lines here in the studio so you can call in and tell us what you love about this channel. We all have to start somewhere. Who are you? I found you out there in the blizzard. What were you doing out there? My girlfriend died. <laughs> None of us were great filmmakers or YouTubers at the beginning. So uh, what number of houses did you move into? Two. Two, Cardinaline. Yeah, right. Listen, nobody moves, nobody ever moves into two Cardinal Lane, all right? It takes many years of trial and error before our videos achieve the quality we aspire to. And when we look back at our earliest work, we usually think, wow, I've come a long way. What if you could go back in time and talk to yourself in your early years? What would you say? What advice would you give? Unfortunately, as of this episode's airing, that is an impossibility. But we have the next best thing. Meet Blind Panda Humor. Too creepy? I guess we started out because we, we kind of sat around this table and we told jokes to each other and we were like, well, one day we're gonna put some cameras on and uh, see if we can make other people laugh. Uh, because it seemed like we were doing that, although it was probably just us. And uh, I went out and I, I just dropped some money on a website. And we uh, stole a camera from somewhere that I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you stole a camera? We borrowed. We borrowed. We borrowed. We borrowed. What have I gotten into the camera? We gave it back. Yeah. Okay. It took two years, but they got it back. It was, so it's not one of these you right now. No, no, no. Oh, all right. Legit now, we're okay. legit. Yeah. So we just started filming stuff and uh, and mostly making our, our family laugh and, and we're hoping to, to make more people laugh. Now, in terms of experience, how would you describe yourselves? Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Fresh. <laughs> About as green as it gets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how long have you been have you been working together? Two years. Two years. We started uh, we started this endeavor in November of 2011. The first time I talked to you guys was through Bob when you you got in touch with me through a mutual friend. Um, what made you come to me and like what started that? Well, uh, you know. We all want more than what we've been able to achieve so far. I think we can agree with that. I mean, yeah, we, yeah. we have these yeah. conversations where we're like, oh, we really love to do this, but it just kind of like, you know, it, it goes out to, you know, one, one degree of separation. It's like, uh, hey, mom, check this out. <laughs> oh, I, I love it, son. You're doing a great job. Yeah. The biggest challenge isn't, isn't trying to write an idea that we think is funny, and it's not trying to stand in front of the camera and act a way we haven't done before. It's trying to get people to watch the video. Get it out there. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard getting the views. So what I wanted to do was was find somebody who had experience with success at at, at this YouTube game that we're all playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I heard that somebody knew who you were, and I heard that you were Mr. You know. <laughs> what? Mr. What? <laughs> Oh, that's me. I think what differentiates us from anybody else is that not only do we, we, we talk a game where we say we want stuff, we actually do it. For two years we've been very consistent. We're meeting twice a week, uh, minimum, every single week for the past two years. And we sit down, we say we're going to meet on this day, and the phone rings. Who's, who's calling? <laughs> We're the kind of people who, like, you know, we actually do stuff. I mean, and I hope that that's been the experience with you, and that's something that I've tried to push on these guys to say, hey, you know, the best way to impress somebody like Russell is, you know, I'm sure you've dealt with people in the past who said that they would do something for you, and then they didn't do it. So it's our biggest goal that if you give us, a, you know, a task, or if you say, hey, I know that you guys want to get here, and right now you're, you're, you're way down here. <laughs> right. You know, well, if you can do, you know, these thousand steps or maybe less than that, hopefully, well, then I can help you get at least close or get you on track to achieve whatever goal you've got. And that's that's what we really want. Yeah, you give a requirement and we want to meet that and exceed that yeah. requirement. And that's why, and I could tell that, and that's why I wanted to do this with you guys. Because I've thought about doing this before, but never thought I had anybody 
seemed like, you never could think of a group that seemed like they would actually do it. And I'm glad that you guys are there. You know, you guys are all, the fact that you all can support yourselves, nobody's gonna, like, we don't have to worry about anybody. It's not like in a band where one person's like into it and the you know, other person's not. You gotta worry one day yeah. what's yeah. gonna happen there. It's like, it's good that you guys are all dedicated. So, here's what we're gonna do. Now, you've said that you're putting me in charge. Yes. And by doing that, yes, I will give feedback on what to do. But we will also be going to you, the audience. Oh. That's the audience is over there. <laughs> you <tell Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be using, I'll use my experience to help out, but we're also going to use your experiences. And what we're going to do is each month, we're going to give Blind Panda Humor an assignment of sorts. We're going to try one assignment a month, and then each month we're going to check back in on that and see how they've done. And then you guys are going to use the comments section for your comments, criticism, advice, anything you want to say. And you can post it on Indie Mogul's channel when we do it. You can post it on their channel when we link over to their videos. We'll find the best feedback, and we're going to give it to them live. They're, they are going to be forbidden <laughs> from looking at any of the feedback. I hear it's going to be trouble for Bob here. Yeah. Like you, you know, be completely honest in your opinions, whether it's positive or negative, but be honest. The best ones I'm going to take, I'm going to read to them, and you're going to get to see their initial reactions. Now, there's the first assignment. Normally, we're going to come into these episodes with an assignment already having been given. Uh, but the first assignment that I've given them, I mentioned it to them a few weeks ago, was to work on an introduction video. Now that YouTube has a spot so that you have a, a channel introduction, to introduce yourselves. Okay. Um, that's been their assignment. Uh, and by the time that this airs, it should be done. Right? Hi, I'm Jim from Blind Panda Humor. Thanks for checking out our channel. We're a group of friends that decided to take our comedy from the kitchen table to the YouTubes. All of our content is original and we do all our writing, filming, and editing. Let me introduce you to the guys. Here's Keith and yeah, Derek. That's what we wrote in the script, man. Yeah, man, we always use the word raddest. DJ is right. our social media expert. 13 YouTube subscribers. Hashtag killing it. Pat, our director. And Bob, our editor. Now, before we check back in with Griffin and the subscriber thon, we've got a few quick links for you to check out. We'll be checking back in with Blind Panda Humor once a month, but in the meantime, subscribe to their channel, and they'll be putting up a new video every week or so that I'll be helping out with to keep up to date with what they're doing between episodes. The first one should be going up next week sometime. Also, I filmed a video with them around Halloween for an idea I had called VHS Theater, where we shot using an old VHSC camera to see what we could pull off with the cheapest equipment possible. And finally, Blind Panda made a playlist of their favorite videos so far, so check those out as well, and if you leave comments on those videos, I may just take some of the better feedback from those for the next episode. Remember, be completely honest. Don't worry about hurting anyone's feelings. Honest feedback is one of the most important building blocks for any group of filmmakers, and they will not be reading any of it until I read it to them live with the cameras rolling. Next month, their assignment is to enter the Christmas fight at filmfights.com, but after that, the assignments are wide open. Give your suggestions for future assignments in the comments below. Back to you in the studio, Griffin. So all month during the Indie Mogul Subscriber-thon, we are taking your calls. You can let us know why you subscribe, why other people should subscribe. Let's uh, listen into one right now. Here. I feel like people should subscribe to Indie Mogul because I find it to be the best YouTube channel for indie filmmakers but especially for filmmakers who are beginners. I love listening to these phone calls. Thank you so much for calling in. And of course, thank you for watching and subscribing to Indie Mogul. We never ask you for money here. Everything's free and we won't ask you for money. Subscribing is something that's easy and free to do, but it does make us money. The more subscriptions we have, the more views we get on videos, the more advertising revenue we make, and we can put that money right back into cool videos for you. So if you wanna help support Indie Mogul, if you know any filmmakers out there, friends of yours who should be subscribers, let them know. And together we can help grow this channel and continue to bring you the stuff that you really want to improve your films. I love Indie Mogul. It's really made a big difference in my life. It's practically my film school. I go to film school and I know more things than seniors. And it's because of you guys. My dream has been to make a film and they helped me. You should always subscribe to Andy Mogul.